What if I told you there's a group of people in the US who live like trillionaires? From private jets to AI empires, these billionaires are redefining what it means to be rich. Let's count down the top 15 and see just how crazy their lifestyles really are. Julia Koch. While some billionaires can't resist the spotlight, others prefer to stay in the shadows. Enter Julia Koch, a woman who quietly controls an empire worth more than the GDP of many countries. What's it like to wield that kind of power from behind the scenes? Julia Koch's story isn't your typical rags-to-riches tale. In fact, it's more like riches to even more riches. She inherited her massive fortune following the death of her husband, David Koch, who was a key player in Koch Industries. We're talking about a company with $125 billion in revenue. That's bigger than some small country's entire economies. So how much are we talking about here? Julia's net worth sits at a cool $59 billion, making her one of the wealthiest women in America. But here's the kicker. Most people have never even heard of her. Unlike many of her billionaire peers who seem to crave the limelight, Julia Koch keeps things on the down low. Imagine having that kind of money and influence, but choosing to stay out of the public eye. It's a stark contrast to the flashy lifestyles we often associate with the ultra-wealthy. No Instagram posts of private jet travels or yacht parties for this billionaire. Julia's approach is more like a stealth wealth ninja. She's got the cash, but you'd never know it from looking at her. Coke Industries, the source of Julia's fortune, is a bit of a mystery itself. It's one of the largest privately held companies in the United States, with its fingers in all sorts of pies, refining, chemicals, energy, you name it. The company's reach is vast, but it operates largely out of the public eye, much like its now majority owner. But don't mistake Julia's low profile for inaction. While she might not be splashing her name across headlines, she's still wielding enormous influence. Think about it. With $59 billion at your disposal, you can shape industries, influence policy, and impact communities without ever having to make a public statement. Julia's approach to wealth seems to be more about thoughtful engagement than flashy displays. She's known for her focus on philanthropy and community involvement, though you won't find her bragging about it on social media. It's a different kind of billionaire lifestyle, one that values discretion and behind-the-scenes impact over public recognition. This silent power player represents a different side of extreme wealth. While we're often bombarded with images of billionaires showing off their latest toys or making headline-grabbing statements, Julia Koch reminds us that some of the most influential people in the world prefer to operate in the background. Her story raises some interesting questions about wealth and visibility in our social media-obsessed age. Alice Walton Imagine having enough money to buy priceless works of art, but instead choosing to share them with millions. For one Walmart heiress, her billions aren't just for show, they're a tool for transforming healthcare and culture across an entire region. How is she redefining what it means to be a billionaire in America? Meet Alice Walton, the richest woman in the United States with a staggering net worth of $65 billion. As the daughter of Walmart founder Sam Walton, she's part of one of America's most influential families. But Alice isn't content with just sitting on her mountain of cash. She's using her fortune to reshape the cultural and healthcare landscape of her home state, Arkansas, in ways that might surprise you. Unlike some billionaires who splash their wealth on super yachts or private islands, Alice Walton has set her sights on a different kind of luxury, making art and healthcare accessible to all. In 2011, she founded the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. This isn't just any museum. It's a world-class institution that rivals those in major cities, but nestled in the heart of middle America. The Crystal Bridges Museum isn't about hoarding priceless artworks for personal enjoyment. It's about bringing cultural experiences to people who might otherwise never have access to them. Imagine walking through galleries filled with masterpieces by American artists, surrounded by the natural beauty of the Ozarks. That's the experience Alice Walton has created and she's made it free for everyone to enjoy. But Alice's vision doesn't stop at art. She's now turning her attention to another crucial area, healthcare. The Alice L. Walton School of Medicine, set to open in 2025, is her latest project. This isn't just another medical school. It's an institution designed to revolutionize healthcare education and improve access to quality care in Arkansas. 
Think about the impact of having a world-class medical school in a state that's traditionally struggled with healthcare access. It's not just about training doctors, it's about creating a ripple effect that could transform the health outcomes of an entire region. And Alice Walton is making it happen with her billions. This approach to wealth is a far cry from the stereotype of billionaires living in isolated luxury. Instead of building higher walls around her fortune, Alice is using it to break down barriers. She's proving that extreme wealth can be a tool for positive change, not just personal indulgence. Of course, 65 billion is an almost unimaginable amount of money. Alice Walton could easily live a life of unparalleled luxury if she chose to. But her focus on philanthropy shows a different side of what it means to be a billionaire in America. Robin Jim Walton Have you ever considered the sheer pressure of inheriting a fortune larger than some countries' GDPs? Rob and Jim Walton are living that reality, and their choices might shock you. As heirs to the Walmart fortune, Rob and Jim Walton find themselves in a unique position. They're not just rich, they're the guardians of a retail giant that shapes the shopping habits of millions. Rob, who chaired Walmart from 1992 to 2015, continues to wield influence as a board member. Meanwhile, Jim oversees the family's banking operations through Arvest Bank, with its 219 branches spread across the heartland. But let's talk numbers for a second. The Walton family collectively holds more than 45% of Walmart's shares. That's not just a stake in a company, it's control over a behemoth that impacts economies, supply chains and communities across the globe. In 2023 alone, the Waltons sold $4.5 billion worth of Walmart stock. That's the kind of wealth that makes even other billionaires do a double take. Now, you might think that with all this money, Rob and Jim would be living it up on private islands or cruising the world in super yachts. But here's where it gets interesting. These guys aren't your typical billionaire playboys. They're more like corporate titans, navigating the complexities of wealth management, corporate governance and philanthropy on a scale most of us can't even fathom. Take Rob, for example. He's not content with just his Walmart billions. He's also the owner of the Denver Broncos NFL team. It's like he's playing Monopoly but with real-life assets. And Jim? He's busy expanding the family's influence in the banking sector. It's a reminder that for the ultra-wealthy, money isn't just for spending, it's a tool for expanding power and influence. But here's the thing, with great wealth comes great responsibility. The Waltons aren't just managing their personal fortunes, they're steering a company that employs 2.3 million people worldwide. Their decisions impact not just their bank accounts, but the livelihoods of millions. It's a level of responsibility that would make most people's heads spin. And let's not forget the legacy they're carrying. Sam Walton, their father, built Walmart from a single store into a retail empire. That's a tough act to follow. Rob and Jim aren't just rich kids living off daddy's money. They're tasked with preserving and growing a business that's become a cornerstone of the American economy. Michael Bloomberg What happens when a business tycoon decides to run an entire city? Michael Bloomberg's journey from media mogul to New York City mayor might just redefine what it means to wield power and influence. Michael Bloomberg isn't your average billionaire. He's a self-made man who turned his financial data company into a global media empire. But that's just the beginning of his story. Bloomberg took his business acumen and decided to apply it to the biggest challenge of his career, running New York City. As mayor from 2002 to 2013, Bloomberg brought a unique perspective to city governance. He approached New York's problems like a CEO, focusing on efficiency and results. His tenure was marked by significant public health initiatives, including anti-smoking campaigns and efforts to reduce obesity rates. It's like he took the idea of a corporate wellness program and applied it to an entire city of 8 million people. But here's where Bloomberg's story takes an unexpected turn. Despite his massive wealth, estimated at $92 billion, he's not content to simply live a life of luxury. Instead, he's made an extraordinary pledge to donate his 88% stake in Bloomberg LP to charity before he dies. We're talking about one of the largest private donations ever made. It's enough to make even other billionaires sit up and take notice. In 2022 alone, Bloomberg donated roughly $100.7 billion to various causes. His focus? Climate change and public health. Two issues that shaped his time as mayor and continue to drive his philanthropic efforts. 
It's as if he's taken the lessons learned from running a city and applied them on a global scale. Bloomberg's approach to philanthropy is heavily influenced by his experiences as both a businessman and a politician. He's not just throwing money at problems. He's applying the same strategic thinking that made him successful in business and politics to tackle some of the world's most pressing issues. Take climate change, for example. Bloomberg isn't just writing checks. He's advocating for policies and calling for greater action from both the private sector and government. It's like he's still in campaign mode, but instead of running for office, he's running to save the planet. His engagement in political discourse extends beyond environmental issues. In September 2023, Bloomberg weighed in on the immigration debate, stating, Our long-broken immigration system has now become a full-blown crisis. It's a reminder that even after leaving office, his voice still carries weight in national conversations. Bloomberg's story raises some interesting questions about the role of billionaires in society. Steve Ballmer, transitioning from Microsoft CEO to LA Clippers owner, shows how billionaires bring Silicon Valley innovation to the basketball court. But can software strategies really win championships? Steve Ballmer isn't your average sports team owner. This former Microsoft CEO, with a net worth that could make small countries jealous, is shaking things up in the NBA. Bulmer's journey from tech titan to basketball bigwig is a prime example of how billionaires reshape entire industries with their wealth and influence. After stepping down as Microsoft's CEO in 2014, Bulmer didn't just retire to a life of luxury. Instead, he dove headfirst into the world of professional sports, purchasing the LA Clippers for a cool $2 billion. But Bulmer isn't content with just owning a team. He's bringing his tech world mindset to the court, and the results are pretty impressive. Bulmer's latest project? A $2 billion stadium for the Clippers that's set to redefine what a sports arena can be. This isn't just any old basketball court. We're talking about a 38 square foot scoreboard that'll make your home theater look like a flip phone. And get this, there's even a swimming pool for the players. Because why not, right? What's really interesting is how Bulmer is approaching this project. He's not just throwing money at it. He's bringing the same innovative thinking that made Microsoft a tech powerhouse to the world of sports. In his own words, this stuff is all fun. It's like he's treating the stadium project as his new startup, focusing on cutting edge design and fan experience without worrying about shareholder expectations. This $2 billion investment isn't just about basketball. It's a prime example of how billionaires can reshape urban landscapes and boost local economies. Think about it. A state-of-the-art arena brings jobs, attracts tourists, and can revitalize entire neighborhoods. It's like Bulmer's using his wealth as a catalyst for urban development. But here's where it gets really interesting. Bulmer's approach to team ownership is a far cry from the traditional sports mogul playbook. He's not just sitting in the owner's box sipping champagne. He's courtside at every game, cheering like a superfan who just happens to have a few billion in the bank. It's this passion, combined with his tech background, that's allowing him to push the boundaries of what's possible in professional sports. Bulmer's story is a perfect example of how the worlds of tech, finance and entertainment are colliding in the 21st century. His vast wealth, accumulated during his time at Microsoft from 2000 to 2014, has given him the freedom to experiment and innovate in ways that traditional sports owners simply can't. But it's not just about having deep pockets. Bulmer's bringing a Silicon Valley mindset to the NBA. He's all about data analytics, fan engagement, and pushing technological boundaries. Mark Zuckerberg. While Bulmer tries to score big in sports, another tech titan faced a different kind of game-changing challenge. How does someone bounce back from losing $71 billion in a single year? For Mark Zuckerberg, it wasn't just about money. It was about rewriting the future of social connection. Mark Zuckerberg's journey from college dorm room coder to social media mogul is the stuff of tech legend. But in 2022, the Facebook founder faced a challenge that would make even the most seasoned Silicon Valley veterans sweat. Meta's stock price took a nosedive, wiping out a staggering $71 billion from Zuckerberg's net worth. That's not just a bad day at the office, it's the kind of loss that could sink entire economies. But here's where Zuckerberg's story takes an unexpected turn. Instead of retreating or playing it safe, he doubled down on his vision for the future.
Meta's pivot towards artificial intelligence and cost-cutting measures set the stage for one of the most dramatic comebacks in recent memory. In 2023, Zuckerberg's wealth skyrocketed by $48.3 billion, largely thanks to a resurgence in Meta's stock price. This financial roller coaster ride isn't just about numbers on a balance sheet, it's a stark reminder of how closely tied Zuckerberg's personal fortune is to Meta's performance. When the company soars, so does his bank account. When it stumbles, his net worth takes a hit that would make most of us dizzy. Zuckerberg's wealth isn't just sitting in a vault somewhere, it's deeply intertwined with Meta's ambitious ventures into AI and the Metaverse. These aren't just pet projects or side hustles, they're bets on the future of human interaction and technology. Zuckerberg is essentially gambling billions on his vision of how we'll connect, work and play in the coming decades. The volatility of Zuckerberg's fortune highlights the high-stakes world of tech billionaires. One year, you're hemorrhaging billions. The next, you're back in the top half of the Forbes 400 list. It's a world where fortunes can change as quickly as a software update and where today's setback could be tomorrow's breakthrough. But let's not forget the sheer scale of wealth we're talking about here. Even after his massive loss in 2022, Zuckerberg remained one of the richest people on the planet. His 2023 comeback didn't just erase his losses, it catapulted him back into the upper echelons of global wealth. It's a reminder that for billionaires like Zuckerberg, financial setbacks are relative. Zuckerberg's resilience in the face of such massive losses speaks to the unique mindset of tech billionaires. Sergey Brin and Larry Page What cutting-edge technology is causing these two founders' fortunes to skyrocket, and how might it change your daily life? Enter Sergey Brin and Larry Page, the masterminds behind Google and current board members of its parent company, Alphabet. These two aren't content with just dominating the search engine market, they're now setting their sights on the frontier of artificial intelligence. Brin and Page have recently refocused their efforts on AI developments, and it's paying off big time. Alphabet's shares jumped a whopping 27% after the company unveiled its AI tool suite in May. This surge in stock value translated to a massive boost in personal wealth for both Brin and Page. We're talking billions of dollars added to their net worth in a matter of months. But this isn't just about two tech moguls getting richer. The impact of their AI push goes far beyond their bank accounts. Google's search engine is already the go-to source of information for billions of people worldwide. Now, imagine that same level of influence applied to AI technology. We're looking at potential changes in how we access information, how we work, and even how we think. Brin's return to a hands-on role at Google, focusing specifically on AI initiatives, speaks volumes about the importance of this technology. It's not every day that a co-founder steps back into the trenches after years away. This move signals a major shift in Google's strategy, positioning the company to compete in the increasingly crowded AI space. The power that comes with controlling the world's most popular search engine is already immense. But add cutting-edge AI research to the mix, and you're looking at a level of influence that's hard to comprehend. Brin and Page aren't just shaping how we find information, they're potentially shaping how information finds us. This AI-driven wealth surge for Brin and Page isn't just a financial footnote. It's a testament to the transformative potential of AI technology. When the market reacts this strongly to AI announcements, it's a clear sign that we're on the cusp of something big. Bill Gates Speaking of tech revolutions, there's another billionaire who's no stranger to shaking things up. Remember the guy who put a computer on every desk? Well, he's not done yet. His latest move is turning heads and raising eyebrows across Silicon Valley. What's he up to now? Bill Gates, the name synonymous with Microsoft and personal computing, has been making waves in the world of artificial intelligence. He's not just sitting back and watching the AI revolution unfold, he's actively shaping it. In June 2023, Gates participated in a massive 1.3 billion funding round for Inflection.ai, an AI chatbot startup. This isn't just pocket change for the tech mogul, it's a serious investment in the future of AI. But Gates isn't putting all his eggs in one basket. He's still got a significant stake in Microsoft, which has been making its own big moves in the AI space. The company's estimated 49% stake in OpenAI, the developer of ChatGPT, has been a game-changer. It's not just about owning a piece of the pie, it's about having a say in how AI develops and impacts our world. 
These strategic investments have paid off big time for Gates. Microsoft's stock has seen a hefty 31% increase over the past year, largely thanks to its AI initiatives. It's a reminder that even after stepping back from day-to-day -day operations at Microsoft, Gates still has his finger on the pulse of the tech world. But here's where Gates' story takes an interesting turn. Unlike some tech billionaires who seem solely focused on the next big thing, Gates has maintained a dual identity. He's not just a tech pioneer, he's also one of the world's most prominent philanthropists. Through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, he's been tackling global challenges in health and education for years. This balance between cutting-edge tech and global philanthropy sets Gates apart. He's not just accumulating wealth for the sake of it. He's using his fortune and influence to address some of the world's most pressing issues. It's like he's playing a game of 3D chess while everyone else is focused on checkers. Gates' approach to philanthropy isn't just about throwing money at problems, it's strategic, focusing on systemic change in areas like healthcare and education. He believes in using wealth to create lasting impact, not just temporary relief. This mindset reflects his tech background, always looking for scalable, efficient solutions to complex problems. When it comes to AI, Gates isn't just an investor, he's a vocal advocate for its potential. He's been quoted saying, AI is going to change the world in a way we can't even imagine. This forward-thinking perspective shows that even after decades in the tech industry, Gates is still excited about the transformative power of new technologies. But it's not all smooth sailing. Warren Buffett, the billionaire landscape is ever-changing, but one man has weathered every economic storm for decades. What's his secret and how is he revolutionizing investing in the digital age? Enter Warren Buffett, the legendary investor known as the Oracle of Omaha. At 93 years old, Buffett isn't just surviving in the tech-driven economy, he's thriving. Buffett's reputation as one of the world's most successful investors is well-earned. His company, Berkshire Hathaway, has become a powerhouse, with its shares reaching all-time highs in August 2023. But here's the kicker. A significant chunk of this success comes from a somewhat unexpected source, Apple. You might think a nonagenarian investor would shy away from tech stocks, but Buffett's bet on Apple has paid off big time. This investment now makes up more than half of Berkshire Hathaway's equity holdings. It's not just a smart move. It's a game changer that's reshaped Buffett's entire portfolio. Despite his age, Buffett's wealth isn't showing any signs of slowing down. Over the past year, his net worth increased by a staggering $24 billion, reaching a total of $105 billion. And get this, that's after donating $4.6 billion to charity this summer. It's like he's playing a different game than the rest of us. But here's where Buffett's story gets really interesting. His approach to investing hasn't fundamentally changed over the years. He's still all about value investing, buying undervalued companies with strong fundamentals. It's a strategy that served him well for decades. But how does it hold up in today's fast-paced, tech-driven market? Turns out, pretty darn well. Buffett's managed to adapt his time-tested strategies to the modern economy. He's recognized the potential of tech companies, particularly through his substantial stake in Apple. It's a move that shows even old dogs can learn new tricks, especially when those tricks involve billions of dollars. Buffett's success in the digital age isn't just about picking the right stocks. It's about understanding the underlying principles that drive success in any era. He's focused on companies with sustainable competitive advantages, businesses he believes will endure through economic ups and downs. In a world where tech companies can rise and fall overnight, this long-term perspective sets Buffett apart. The Oracle's recent performance is nothing short of impressive. Berkshire Hathaway's stock is up 32% since last year's ranking. Larry Ellison In Silicon Valley, a database pioneer just saw his wealth skyrocket by $57 billion. What's behind this massive surge, and how is it reshaping the landscape of American wealth? Enter Larry Ellison, the co-founder and chief technology officer of Oracle. This tech veteran has been in the game for decades, but his recent financial gains are turning heads even in the high-stakes world of Silicon Valley. Ellison's wealth increase of $57 billion this year isn't just impressive, it's the largest dollar gain among US billionaires. So what's driving this unprecedented surge? The answer lies in the AI boom that's taking the tech world by storm. Oracle, traditionally known for its database software, has pivoted hard into the world of artificial intelligence. This move has paid off big time. 
with Oracle's stock price jumping by a whopping 69%. Ellison's 40% stake in Oracle means he's reaping the rewards of this AI-driven stock surge. It's a reminder of how quickly fortunes can change in the tech world. One year you're known for business software, the next you're riding the wave of the hottest trend in tech. But Ellison isn't just sitting back and watching his wealth grow, he's actively cashing in on this boom. In June 2023, he sold $640 million worth of stock options. It's the first time he's sold shares in two years, suggesting he's feeling pretty confident about Oracle's position in the market. The AI craze isn't just benefiting Ellison, it's reshaping the entire landscape of American wealth. Tech billionaires who've positioned themselves at the forefront of AI development are seeing their fortunes multiply at an astonishing rate. It's like a new gold rush, but instead of pickaxes and pans, the tools are algorithms and data centers. However, not all of Ellison's bets have paid off as handsomely. His $1 billion investment in Elon Musk's X, formerly Twitter, hasn't fared as well. The social media platform is now worth about two-thirds less than when Musk took over. It's a stark reminder that even billionaires can't win them all. Ellison's story raises some interesting questions about the nature of wealth in the AI age. Is this surge sustainable, or are we witnessing a bubble? How will the concentration of wealth in the hands of AI pioneers impact the broader economy? And what happens to those who miss the AI boat? The Oracle co-founder's massive wealth increase also highlights the growing divide between tech billionaires and the rest of society. While Ellison's fortune grew by $57 billion, many Americans are struggling with rising costs of living and stagnant wages. Jeff Bezos, if giving away billions actually made you richer, Jeff Bezos might have cracked that code. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, has a net worth that would make most people's heads spin. We're talking about $161 billion. That's enough money to buy a small country or fund a space program. Oh wait, he's actually doing that last one. But here's where things get interesting. Despite giving away massive amounts of money, Bezos' wealth actually increased by $10 billion over the past year. It's like he's found some kind of financial cheat code where the more he gives, the more he gets. So what's driving this wealth surge? Well, it's not just about selling more books and gadgets online. Amazon's stock price has been on a roller coaster ride, and when it goes up, Bezos' net worth follows suit. It's a reminder of just how closely tied his personal fortune is to the company he founded in his garage back in 1994. Now let's talk about Bezos' approach to philanthropy. This isn't your typical write-a-check-and-forget-about-it kind of giving. Bezos is targeting some pretty heavy-hitting issues. He sold stock worth $700 million, earmarking it for combating homelessness and addressing climate change. It's like he's taking on society's boss-level problems, but Bezos isn't stopping there. In September 2023, he made a jaw-dropping pledge of $100 million for wildfire relief efforts in Maui. And get this, he owns a home there. It's a move that shows he's not just throwing money at distant problems, he's investing in communities he's connected to. This approach to philanthropy sets Bezos apart from some of his billionaire peers. While others might focus on personal projects or foundations, Bezos seems to be aiming for maximum impact. He's not just writing checks, he's trying to move the needle on some of society's biggest challenges. Of course, with great wealth comes great scrutiny. Some critics argue that Bezos should be giving away even more of his fortune. After all, $161 billion is an almost unimaginable amount of money. But it's worth noting that philanthropy at this scale is a relatively new phenomenon. We're in uncharted territory when it comes to individuals wielding this kind of financial power for social good. Bezos's wealth fluctuations also highlight the volatile nature of billionaire fortunes. When Amazon's stock price dips, his net worth can drop by billions in a matter of days. It's a reminder that even for the ultra-wealthy, financial security isn't guaranteed. It's just that their version of financial insecurity still involves more zeros than most of us will see in a lifetime. The scale of Bezos's giving raises some interesting questions about the role of billionaires in society. Elon Musk. One stands apart by constantly growing his. Elon Musk's $251 billion net worth hasn't budged, but his influence keeps expanding. How does America's richest person manage to stay on top while juggling multiple industry-shaking ventures? Elon Musk isn't your average billionaire. 
He's the guy who's got his fingers in more pies than a baker on Thanksgiving. We're talking electric cars, space rockets, and now social media. It's like he's playing a real-life version of Monopoly. But instead of Park Place and Boardwalk, he's buying up entire industries. Let's break down this empire, shall we? First up, there's Tesla. Musk's electric car company has revolutionized the auto industry, making EVs cool and forcing traditional car makers to play catch-up. Then there's SpaceX which is basically Musk's attempt to turn science fiction into reality. They're not just launching satellites, they're talking about colonizing Mars. It's the kind of ambition that makes most people's heads spin. But Musk didn't stop there. In 2022, he decided to add social media to his portfolio, buying Twitter for $44 billion and renaming it X. It's like he saw the dumpster fire that is social media and thought, hey, I can make that burn even brighter. Now, you'd think juggling all these companies would be a surefire way to lose money. But Musk's net worth has remained stable at a mind-boggling $251 billion. That's more money than most small countries' GDPs. A big chunk of this wealth comes from his SpaceX stock options, which are worth about $5.7 billion. It's like he's got a money tree, but instead of leaves, it grows rocket ships. Speaking of SpaceX, the company recently hit a valuation of $150 billion. That's a lot of zeros for a company that's literally shooting for the stars. It's this kind of success that's helped Musk weather storms in his other ventures. When Tesla's stock dropped 8%, Musk barely flinched. It's like he's playing financial whack-a-mole. When one stock goes down, another pops up. But here's the thing about Musk. He's not just rich, he's influential. When he tweets, markets move. When he speaks, industries listen. He's like a one-man Nasdaq index. This influence has made him a polarizing figure. Some see him as a visionary genius, others as a loose cannon with too much power. Musk's approach to business is anything but conventional. He's known for making bold statements and getting into public spats with everyone from world leaders to other tech moguls. It's like he's taken the Silicon Valley mantra of move fast and break things and applied it to his entire life. This unconventional approach extends to his companies. Tesla doesn't just make cars, it's pushing for a complete overhaul of our energy systems. SpaceX isn't content with launching satellites. It wants to make humans an interplanetary species. And X? Well, who knows what Musk has planned for that platform. It's like he's playing chess while everyone else is still figuring out checkers. But with great ambition comes great volatility. Musk's wealth, much like Tesla's stock price, can fluctuate wildly based on his latest tweet or company announcement. It's a reminder that in the world of tech billionaires, fortunes can change as quickly as a software update. Jensen Huang, another tech titan, has quietly engineered a fortune that skyrocketed 216% in just one year. How did this relative unknown become the biggest gainer on the billionaire list? The answer lies in the chips powering the AI revolution. Enter Jensen Huang, the co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA. You might not have heard his name before, but chances are you've benefited from his work. Huang's company produces more chips used in AI systems than any other, positioning him at the forefront of the artificial intelligence boom. Huang's journey to the top of the billionaire list is nothing short of remarkable. In just one year, his net worth has increased by a staggering 216% making him the biggest gainer on the Forbes 400 list in 2023. We're talking about a jump from relative obscurity to a net worth of $40.7 billion. That's enough money to buy a small country or fund a space program. So what's driving this massive wealth surge? It all comes down to the skyrocketing demand for AI technology. NVIDIA's chips have become the go-to choice for companies developing AI systems, from chatbots to self-driving cars. As the world rushes to embrace artificial intelligence, Huang's company is selling shovels in the AI gold rush. The stock market has taken notice of NVIDIA's dominant position in the AI chip market. The company's shares are up more than 200%, contributing significantly to Huang's wealth surge. It's like he's found the cheat code for the stock market, and it's spelled AI. Huang's story is a classic tale of immigrant success in the tech industry. Born in Taiwan, he graduated from Oregon State University before co-founding NVIDIA in 1993. Back then, the company was focused on graphics processors for gaming. Fast forward three decades, and NVIDIA has transformed into a key player in the AI revolution. The impact of Huang's work extends far beyond his personal bank account. NVIDIA's chips are powering advancements in healthcare, 
scientific research and autonomous vehicles. It's not just about making money, it's about shaping the future of technology and society. Of course, with great success comes great scrutiny. The concentration of wealth and power in the hands of tech billionaires like Huang raises questions about the influence of individuals on global technological development. As AI becomes increasingly integrated into our daily lives, the decisions made by Huang and his peers will have far-reaching consequences. Huang's rapid ascent to the upper echelons of wealth also highlights the volatile nature of tech fortunes. In an industry where fortunes can be made or lost based on a single product launch or market shift, Huang's success is a testament to NVIDIA's ability to stay ahead of the curve. 